I have lost a very close family member and I can't seem to cope up with this loss. I know I'm creating health problems for myself. How can I help myself? A very, very powerful question. We have lost someone or the other in our lives, right? And it doesn't mean it's only through death. Sometimes people just move away from us in terms of divorce. Um, sometimes they just move away because of some misunderstanding. So we are grieving the loss of something that we love. Now, earlier I've explained this to my friends, that what is loss is not the person actually. What we are missing is that connection we used to have with them, that situation that used to make us happy when they were there. The way that I would have enjoyed my life, that is no more going to be there for me. So that experience is not going to be there for me. So that is the pain that I'm going through. It feels like, oh, I can never hug her again or him again. I can never talk to them again. So it's all about me not being able to do a lot of things with that person, which is hurting. That's loss. So it is not the death of that person or the death of that friendship. It is a part of me that dies. That means a part of me which enjoyed doing these things is no more there in me and it can never come back. And that death of that part of me is my loss. So what should I do for this? It's very simple. If you can actually spend your time thinking of how you've lost them, you can invest the same time thinking of how you have enjoyed them. Go back in time and bring all the memories. Instead of saying, oh, she died, he died, he left me, he divorced me. You think of, oh, I had 10 beautiful years with this person or 25 years. Let me think of all the fun times. And before you know, you will be having a series of fun, beautiful relationships, beautiful moments that you will be um, talking about. Uh, the positive thing. So the filters that you have created negatively can also alternate it by positive. So just think positive about the person. Just say, okay, instead of crying, this person is not there. Let me replay my favorite moments with them. So start replaying and you by the time you know, you'll be smiling, you'll be talking about them positive. Any other questions? Can I ask one, dear? Sure. Yes, of course. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, like you said, the loss is like, um, uh, I'm not able to hug him or I'm not able to do things with him. That's what one person thinks. But uh, what, what if that person is thinking that wish, wish she could have changed some few situations, scenarios and things would not, like she's feeling, feeling that, you know, that the person who passed away is deserved, deserved, deserves deserve to be with us no it's not about me feeling that um um I, I can't i feel that i feel sorry for him so much so that that he deserved to be with us he deserved to be happy at this stage when things were settling down he was he, he you know this, this was the time when we could have the, the, the that guilt that wish i would have done like that or i would have done like that and things would have reversed Okay, very, very good. This is called regret and guilt. Okay. Now regret and guilt is something where you think it comes when you think you can be in charge of destiny. See, oh, no. it's the whole question. When do I have a regret? Oh, I should have done that. When you think you had a choice, you have to understand that the choice that exists is only in that moment. You don't have a choice after that. There is a certain force which makes you take a decision, especially with death and birth. Nobody has the willpower to change it, no matter what you had done it. Yes, there will be a regret. Oh, if I knew he's going to live only for 20 years with me, maybe I wouldn't have fought so much. <laughs> maybe I wouldn't have behaved in this way. But there is no way you could have avoided that person leaving on that date, that time of the year, because that is a destined time for them to leave. There is an expiry date on everything. Even on a carton of milk, there is an expiry date. So what is very important to not have regrets and guilt, and it is a universal thing. We say, today you have someone, make sure you give so much love to that person as if there is no tomorrow. Well, why do we have to regret 
when somebody leaves us that we didn't do a lot of things? How is it going to make it better? Now, how can you change this? Now, suppose that person is already gone, but I'm feeling regret. Well, just go and see what was that person passionate about. If that person was passionate about gardening, go and create and a forest in their name. Go create an environment friendly forest. If that person loved children, go and create a support system for an orphanage where you're supporting millions of children for education. So what is important is not to cry over their death in guilt. What are you going to do to keep them alive? So if they loved food, hmm. cook food and give it to laborers and say in your name, because you love food. Not crying hmm. when you see a piece of pizza. Oh, if you were there, you would have eaten it. Cook pizza and distribute it till you feel that he is happy or she is happy. Every day he is being remembered, she is being remembered because you are giving out one pizza every day in his name. This is how you make people feel that they are living. Who said they are dead? Okay, I have a question for you. Whoever, whoever has this question, yeah. thank you for asking. Yeah. Who said people die? I'm telling you, <laughs> my great, 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 great grandmother is alive in me. Because genetically, we cannot die. The skin, okay. this whole talking, this voice is all was there in my genetics. So no matter what you do, a person is alive in memory. A mm -hmm. person is live, alive in genetics. So why do you think a person dies? You can keep them alive in different ways. Okay, we, yeah, like, you know, to be, to be loved, I was loved and I loved him absolutely. There was like so much so that it was nobody else between us. It was, it was so strong. So, and then the departing was, was so severe that I didn't even see his face. I was not there with him at that moment. Okay. I, I can't believe that. I, I, I am not able to absorb that. I'm so sorry for My your loss. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you can keep him alive. See, love is not about me and him. Love is about seeing him in everything from now. I don't know what your partner loved. But you know, right? If you mm -hmm. knew everything about him, keep him alive. Because your crying will not make him happy. I would want my children to keep me alive. They should know mm -hmm. what mama loved. And this yeah. is what I am keeping alive as my mother. Yesterday, I <laughs> cooked some sweet dish. Mm -hmm. And I was crying when I was making this, not crying out of sadness and saying, Ma Grandma, my mother's mother, how even a sweet dish can keep you alive? She came back out of me. She came into my heart as if she was right next to me. The smell of that sweet said, my grandmother, we used to call her Mama Ma. She said, Mama Ma, you are alive. You are just next to me because when I'm eating, I can feel the same taste as if she's feeding me. So it's impossible for someone to go away. They are inside you. You can bring them out of you in a positive way or you can make yourself depressed, tell everybody how sad you are and keep them alive. You're still keeping them alive, but in a negative way. So you can choose what you want to do with that sadness. You can come out with it positively or you can come out with it negatively. Any more questions? Thank you so much, dear. Thank welcome. you so much. Welcome. welcome. I would put this into a, a bracket of uh, keeping happy memories alive, right? Yes. The happy memories that we have had, like for somebody who has passed away, yes. we rather than crying over them that they have gone away, we would rather uh, choose those happy memories and you know keep them like a uh, a collage and yes. uh, go through them. I think that would help, right? Absolutely. And talk more about them in a way that they make people laugh. Yeah. Like you don't want to talk about them and make people cry. Yeah. You should talk about them, their funny stuff, the way they used to do things and the, the, when they were young, what they used to do. Oh my God, how they used to trouble you. So people are laughing when you talk about that person you lost. Mm. 
makes much much more sense that way yeah he, he or she will bring more people together they'll say oh my god really it's like you're keeping them alive in the most positive way their memories <laughs>